हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर प्राची कुलकर्णी फर्टिलिटी स्पेशलिस्ट 49 फर्टिलिटी सेंटर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट आईयूआई व्हाट इज आईयूआई हाउ आईयूआई इज परफॉर्म व्हाट आर द प्री रिक्विजिट्स ऑफ आईयूआई व्हाट आर द इंडिकेशंस ऑफ आईयूआई व्हाट इज द सक्सेस रेट ऑफ आईयूआई एंड व्हाट प्रिकॉशंस यू शुड बी टेकिंग आफ्टर एन आईयूआई सो व्हाट इज एन आईयूआई आईयूआई इज इन यूट्रो इंसेमिनेशन दैट मींस व्हाट वी डू इज वी पुट अ prepared semen sample inside the uterus about the time of ovulation so how iui is performed first of all we'll see what are the prerequisites so prerequisites for an iui are either at least one of the tubes should be open that is patent and it has to be documented on an hsg or a saline salpingogram that tube is patent uh then second prerequisite is at least the semen parameter should be met the count should be at least more than 15 million motility progressive motility more than 32% morphology around at least above 4% so total motile sperm concentration if it is coming up between 8 to 10 million the iui success rate should be good so that is the second prerequisite is the semen parameter third prerequisite is ovulation should be documented fourth prerequisite is even the endometrial lining should be adequate for implantation so these are the prerequisites for iui so now we will see which couples will benefit from an iui so iui is usually recommended for a couple who are young they have just started uh, their fertility journey and they haven't tried with uh, any treatment so far the infertility duration is not very long uh, usually preferably 2 to 3 years or at least less than 5 years the women's age if it is less than 35 years then it will also benefit more for the women who are above 35 years the chances with iui might be on the lower side so these are the couples which we may who may benefit with an iui so other indications for iui is unexplained infertility some sexual disorders where they cannot uh, have a adequate sexual intercourse because of either vaginismus or erectile dysfunction then there might be some cervical factors like um, cervical mucus related issues or maybe a tight internal loss also uh, some couples wherein the patient uh, husband is having azoospermia but when they cannot afford an ivf cycle uh, for along with tisa or if the, if the sperms are not available on tisa then in that case they can go for an iui with a donor semen sample so these are the indications for iui what is the success rate of iui when it is a uh, properly selected couple the success rate of iui can go up to 15 to 20% so which couples will benefit you discuss with your doctor if it is beneficial for you if you fall in the category if somebody is having endometriosis or age uh, above 35 years or long duration of infertility like more than 5 years those patients uh, it may not benefit them so iui is actually a little less expensive uh, slightly easier to perform and uh, uh, more convenient for the patient so how we do iui is uh, the the part wherein we start preparing your eggs for the uh, ovulation we give medications so these medications are either oral tablets or gonadotropin injections or even both so that is called as ovulation induction so once we give those medicines we monitor your scans which are called follicular study to see how your how and how many follicles are growing so our aim is usually to grow between 2 to 4 follicles in an iui cycle once the follicles are ready or about mature then we give the trigger injection for inducing the ovulation after uh, the trigger injection 36 hours is the time where the ovulation should happen so we do after trigger injection we do a daily scan to document ovulation so after ovulation the egg is available for 12 to 24 hours for fertilization so what we do in iui is we try to match that timing and on the day when we see the ovulation has happened on the scan we advise the woman to full her bladder so that the uterus and cervix is in the same axis and the passage of catheter is easy and also the visualization of the uterus is possible with the trans abdominal scan then we advise the husband to produce a semen sample that semen sample is processed in the lab to separate out fast moving sperms this prepared semen sample under all aseptic precaution then we with the use of a soft uh, sterile catheter we drop inside the uterine cavity 
under ultrasound guidance. So this is how the IUI process takes place. So it is not at all painful. It can be easily performed in a uh, sterile conditions. After an IUI, you may have to lie down for some time and then you are uh, free to move around and you can continue your daily routine. There is no need of any uh, avoidance of any particular activity or any traveling. You can just continue your regular routine. We also advise to continue having intercourse for one or two days after an IUI just to increase the number of sperms in the reproductive tract. Then we advise some medications which are mainly progesterone support that is called as LPS, luteal phase support. At the end of 15 days of luteal phase support, we advise you to take a urine pregnancy test as well as a beta HCG test. So if either of these tests are positive, then you have to consult your doctor again. You, that means your IUI is successful and then the doctor will advise you further. If suppose your tests are negative, then doctor advises you to stop those medications so that you can get your periods and then you can again prepare for your further treatment. So uh, this is how the IUI goes about. So the chances would be maximum if your doctor has uh, suggested the IUI based on your previous uh, treatment history, your other history like considering all the factors which are leading to infertility. So if the chances are around 15 to 20 percent, you may go for another cycle of IUI like three to four cycles is what generally is recommended to try. So this is about IUI. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much. If you need any further uh, consultations, please visit any of our 49 centers and we are glad to help. Thank you.